Hey guys, we're going to jump right in this tutorial creating this warm tone brown smoky eye which is a beautiful go-to for me. First we're going to start off with priming the skin. I normally always prime my skin before I apply my foundation and I'm just going to apply the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer to my face. It's going to help obviously reduce shine control but it's also a little bit moisturizing so I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over the face. Then I'm going to go in with my Neutrogena Shine Control Foundation. The shade I am in currently is 70 Fresh Beige and I'm going to apply that all over my face and then I'm going to blend it out with the F88 Angled Kabuki Brush from Sigma. Basically I'm going to be doing swiping motions and patting motions making sure not to get any brush streaks in my face. I have already primed my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot and I'm going in with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and a Dome Shape Brush from Morphe. I'm just going to blend this basically all over the lid, especially in the crease. What this is going to do is help soften up that eye primer and help the other colors blend out much more easy. As you notice, the color barely shows up, so it's not really to show up, it's basically there to soften up that eye primer that can be a little bit harsh when starting out. Then I'm going in with this palette from Neutrogena, this is their Nourishing Eyeshadows and I'm going to take the lightest shade right there and I'm going to apply it to the brow bone as our highlight shade and again this is just going to smooth out the primer. Then going in with Chickadee from Makeup Geek, this color looks intense but we are going to build up on it and it's not going to be so intense. I'm going in with an E25 brush from Sigma which is kind of like a flat fluffy blending brush and I'm going to pop this shade and focus it right in the crease. I'm going to do small circular motions blending all the way from the inner to the outer corner making sure it is nice and seamless. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of cream brulee which is just a little bit more of a really light brown color and I'm going to build up the color. This is going to help dull down a little bit of that orangey color we put on our lid and going in with that same E25 brush from Sigma, blending small circular motions to inner to outer corner. From inner to outer corner. Never stop blending. Next, I'll go in with the shade Mocha from Makeup Geek, which is a great matte dark brown staple color to have in your collection. I'm taking a little bit more of a flat blending brush than the A25. This one's from Morphe. I'll put it down below, but I'm focusing that Mocha color right in the crease. I'm putting it right on top of Cream Boulet, but I'm not going to bring it up quite as high because you don't want your darker colors to touch your br uh, brow bone area. You just want to keep them focused right in the crease. That's going to give you definition and depth. Then going in with Cocoa Bear, which is one of my favorite colors from Makeup Geek, I'm going to pop this right on the lid. I'm pressing it on the lid with a flat shader brush. This one is from Too Faced. I am using the most random brushes in the world for this tutorial. Sorry about that, guys. But basically, I'm going to cover the whole entire lid and I'm going to bring it right up to the crease where that dark brown color starts and I'm going to stop right there. Then I'm going back in with a little bit of mocha on my brush just to soften up that harsh line where the colors meet. Then I'm going in with my favorite matte black color. This is Corrupt. Taking the teeny tiniest amount of it on a flat blending brush. I'm going to pop this right in the crease and I'm going to take it up even less higher than I did the mocha color. As you can see, we're really just building up colors here and we're taking them a little bit lower every time we apply them. Next, I decided to wing it out on this one. If you're not comfortable with wing liner, simply draw a thick black line of liner above your upper lash line and define your eyes. But uh, you know, your girl loves that drama so she's going to wing it out. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the EO6 brush from Sigma. This is a great eyeliner brush to create that wing liner. And I'm just going to create the wing that I create in every tutorial. Next, I'm going to highlight my face. First, going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and Custard. Just going to apply that a little bit on the inner corner. And then I'm really going to highlight my face with my MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Bright Forecast. This is a lot thinner formula than the actual concealer, so it's not quite as heavy makeup on your face, but yet you still get the highlighting benefits. Then I'm going to take the F88 Kabuki brush and just pat that out. Instead of doing swiping motions, which okay I'm doing swiping motions then, but first I like to push it into the skin and then I'll swipe it out and blend it out. Making sure there's no streaky uh, brush strokes. 
Next, I'll take my Neutrogena setting powder. This has quickly become one of my all-time favorite setting powders. I've used it in about three or four tutorials. I'm going to set that concealer with it. It's gonna help the concealer last longer. It's gonna help it be brighter. It's also gonna help it not to crease up. So there's many benefits in setting your concealer. Then going in with the M20 Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. And this is the first time I used it on my face, so I'm just kind of checking it out here, seeing what I think. And basically, I kind of contoured my face, but then I ended up blending it out and bringing it up a little bit higher just to bronze up the skin. That way I'm not looking too, too pasty and everything is matchy matchy. If you're ever in a hurry, I recommend skipping the contouring and just kind of bronzing your face because you want to definitely take your time blending when you're actually contouring your face. I'm also going to run a little bit of this down the nose with a flat little shader brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Healthy Skin Blush from Neutrogena in shade Rosy. This is also becoming one of my favorite blushes from the drugstore. I'm gonna pop this on the apples of my cheek and work it back. Then going in with um, Champagne Pop, I see you Jaclyn Hill, from Becca Cosmetics with a fan brush. I'm gonna pop this onto the upper cheekbone area and run a wee bit, bit up down the nose. Then going in with Chickadee, that orangey color, I'm gonna swipe this from inner to outer corner. We can't neglect our lower lash line, peoples. So then I'm gonna take a little bit of Cocoa Bear and a mid sweeper brush from Sigma. I'm gonna swipe this from inner to outer corner right on top of Chickadee. Then with an angle brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of Corrupt and I'm gonna run it right below the lower lash line. And next, I'll take a little brush and I will swipe back and forth just to blend all this out and make sure it's really soft and really gradient. We don't want any harsh lines and we're gonna really smoke it out when doing this and it's gonna give us that nice smoky eye. Then I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is a black eyeliner that will last all day and night. I'm gonna fill in the waterline. I'm also going to put a little bit in the inner corners, just where my eyeliner doesn't come all the way down. Then I'll go in with my Healthy Volume Mascara from Neutrogena and give my lashes a few good coats and I'll especially coat those bottom lashes really well with it. And next I'm going to apply some Dramatic Lashes. These are iconic by House of Lashes. Whenever I do a pretty smoky eye and a thick wing liner, I like to go ahead and add the drama by doing big lashes. Next, I'm going in with Strip Down from MAC to line my lips. I'm also going to fill in the inner corners of the lips. With this, this is one of my favorite pencils whenever I create a nude lip. It just gives it a little bit of definition. That way your lips aren't just one solid color nude. Then I'll go in with Honey Love by MAC. I haven't used this lipstick in forever. I just dug it out and I was like, I think I'm going to use it for this tutorial. So I'm going to pop that onto my lips and covering right over the stripped down color. This is a beautiful nude color. And then I'm going to go back in and define the lips a little bit with that stripped down color. And that's it for this tutorial. Promise Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, I'll guys. I really hope you liked it. Thank you so much for stopping so. by. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Right now it's pretty crazy and I don't know how to stop but slow it